Hi everyone, my name's Panda and I'm down here at the BGC Durham Northview and today we're going to be making some nice little fireflies. Um, so what you're going to need in order to make this sweet flyer, firefly is a used water bottle, uh, some construction paper, uh, some tissue paper as well, a couple googly eyes, some scissors, some pipe cleaners, and then some glow sticks. In order to get started, what I'm gonna need you to do is take the wrapper off of your water bottle so that it looks plain and is just plastic all around, kind of like this. And then after that, I want you to cut strips about the width of three of your fingers of, of construction paper or tissue paper. The lighter the paper, the better it would be so that it sticks better to the water bottle. You just want to cut a couple of strips out, maybe two or three. You can do more or less if you want, but I find that around three of them make the best looking firefly out there. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your water bottle and then with a mixture of glue and a little bit of water so you want to make sure that it's a little stringy when you're done mixing it because you don't want it to be so thick that it's it's weighing it down but you want it to be thick enough so that when it's hard it stays there and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your brush and on your mom and dad's table make sure you put something down so that the glue doesn't go any and everywhere and then you're just gonna take a little bit and you're just gonna brush it brush it all over the middle of the water bottle so that you're kind of making a stripe all the way around it you want to fill a decent amount so that your firefly can be as colorful as possible and then once you're done that take your strip of paper and just lie it down across it and wrap it all the way around just like that and then if you have a little bit of extra like this you can either cut it off or but I like to take a little bit more glue and put it down underneath it and then stick it down some more just to make sure that you're using every little bit because the less waste the better and then you're gonna do the same thing for the rest of your strips just put some more glue down and take another strip and wrap that around as tight but not not so tight that you're ripping the paper you want to make it just tight enough that when you get to the finished product the light will shine through and then once you're done putting your couple of strips on I'm gonna stop after two because I cut those ones a little big you want to take more of your glue mixture and wipe it on top just a thin layer of it so that it sticks down and when it's hardened it, it's as hard as a rock and won't go anywhere make sure you get every crack every nook and cranny of it and then what you're going to do after that is you're going to put it to the side and let it dry before you move on to the next step but i have an already dried one so that we can already get to the next step so for this one i used the green except other than a blue um so now once you get to this step, you can pick whatever color pipe cleaners you want. So I think I'm gonna go with these purple, purpley blue ones here. And you're gonna wanna get three of them. And these are gonna be the legs, just like this. They're gonna be the legs of your firefly. And what you're gonna do is you're going to take them and you're just going to wrap them around kind of in the in the just just before the end of of your uh your tissue paper and then you're just going to twist tie them together at the bottom and that's what's going to create the feet of your firefly so give it about four or five twists or until it's just tight enough and won't move around on you like crazy. And then you're going to take another one and I recommend you space them out a little more so that your firefly can stand up. Uh, but again, you can make it however you want because everybody's firefly is going to be a little different because if everyone's firefly was the same, they would all be a little boring, right? And then you're going to take your last one and do the same thing. So there's the legs of your firefly. 
just like that. And now from here, you're gonna take another piece of paper and you're gonna cut out the wings. For this part, a heavier type of paper, like a foam paper or a construction paper would be perfect. But if you don't have anything like that, just a regular piece of paper is fine. And then you can take some crayons or pencil crayons and you can draw any design on it that you want. And it doesn't matter how big or small you make them because they're the wings of your firefly, right? And if they're not even, it's not a big deal. But if you want them to be even, you can make them as even as you want. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your two wings and make a kind of heart shape with them. But you want there to be two points at the end, just like that. And then you're going to take some more glue. You can use your glue mix that you have right there. But I find a glue stick or a hot glue gun would work a little bit better and dries a little quicker. So you take that and then you glue those two together and make sure that those are stuck really well. And then after they're stuck together really well, you take a little bit more glue and put it on the inside and then stick that to the back of your firefly. And there you have the wings. And then, like I said, you can draw designs. For me, I might put the Toronto Raptors logo here or the Blue Jays logo here and then my name, Panda. And then after that, you wanna take your googly eyes and try not to spill them everywhere. You want you can take two, three, one. It, it's totally up to you because it's your firefly. And just put a little glue on the back of those and then stick those to the cap. I find with the cap on the water bottle, it's a lot easier to hold and put the eyes on and make sure that they're stuck. So there's one eye and then there's another one. So I'm going to leave mine looking like that with two eyes. And then once that's finished, you go back to your bag of pipe cleaners and you can pick out whatever kind of color you want the antenna to be. So I'm gonna make it pink, just like my firefly's wings. I'm gonna take this pink pipe cleaner and I'm gonna make it the antenna of the firefly. So what you wanna do is this little part right here, you're gonna take the pipe cleaner and you're gonna wrap it around so that the points end up on the opposite side of the leg, so the side that the wings are on. And then you're just gonna do the same thing you did with the legs, just twist it until it's tight, and then you can leave it that length. Or what I like to do is take my scissors and you can cut them as short or as long as you want. I like to make them a little bit shorter so that they're different from the legs. Now your firefly is just a fly, right? You wanna make it glow now. So pick any color glow stick you want. And then it's a little bright out, so you won't be able to see it too well, but you're just gonna crack it. And these ones are a little long for the water bottle, but that's not a problem because you just unscrew the cap afterwards and stick it inside. You could just fold it up inside and then put the cap on. All right, and there you go. You have a cute little firefly that you can hang up, you can play around with. It's a nice little night light and it'll glow for you in the dark. My name was Panda and we just made some nice little fireflies that you can play with and hang up and use as a night light. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys down here at summer camp. Thanks for joining the summer camp house for another great video. For more videos like this, be sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. We've got great activities for you to follow along with all summer. If you want to hang out with the BGC Pals in person, be sure to check out our after school program at 20 locations across Durham Region, get connected with one of our great evening programs in the fall, or join one of our other amazing programs. You can find details about all of these programs and more at bgcdurham.com. See you next time!